Welcome to a new video tutorial series on how to run simulations using the Flower framework. Flower is the best framework for anything that has to be federated. And in this 8 video tutorial series, you will learn how to federate anything you want using the simulation engine. So let's see what we'll be covering in these 8 videos. In the first video, you will learn how to use two commands to very easily create a Flower app and to run it in simulation right in your laptop without having to write a single line of code. In the second video, we'll take a closer look into the client app and the server app that was created in the first video, and you will learn how you can easily customize the model that is being federated, how to change the data set, and also how to modify how that data set gets, gets partitioned. In the third video, you will learn how to very easily modify the behavior of your server app by passing different type of callbacks to the strategy. The strategy is the brain of the server app that runs stages such as sampling client apps or aggregating the models received by the client apps. In the fourth video, you will learn how to communicate arbitrary metrics from the client apps back to the strategy. If you recall, the client app's role is primarily to do local training of a model that was sent back by the that was sent from the server. Before communicating that model back for aggregation, you sometimes want to send some metrics such as what was the training loss, what was the validation accuracy, and other more complex data structures. In this video, you will learn how to communicate all those so you can run the algorithm that suits your use case. In the fifth video, you will learn how to create fully custom strategies. This will enable you to run, to write your own custom model checkpointing mechanism, to write your metrics to your file system in the way you prefer. Also, to, to send those metrics to a third-party service such as weight and biases or MLflow, you will learn all those in this video. In the sixth video, you will learn how to design stateful client apps. Having a statefulness in a client app is important. For example, if you want to develop an application that does federated personalization of a model, where parts of the model have to state in the client another, and another part is the one federated. And there are many other reasons why you might want to implement a stateful mechanism for your client apps. You will learn this in this video. In the seventh video, we will provide an overview of how the simulation works in Flower. This is important when you want to optimize your federations. So you can run large scale simulations as fast as possible with the hardware you have available. And in the eighth and final video, we'll see how you can adjust the resources, the, the system and memory, the compute and memory resources assigned to your client apps in such a way that you can have a fine grain control on the degree of parallelism of your simulations. All these eight videos will walk you, th will walk you through from zero to hero using the Flower simulation engine. So buckle up and I'll see you in the first video where you will learn how to create and run your first Flower simulation. See you there.